The Xiaomi Redmi Note 4 is a phone that does not need any introduction. It is one of the most popular smartphones out there in the market right now. However, I see people not using it to its fullest. The phone runs on MIUI 8, which packs in a lot of software features that not everyone is aware about. My name is Sid, and in this video, I tell you what exactly they are. The first one is simple, but effective. You know that time in the middle of night when you get up and you need to fetch a water bottle near your bedside? And you need flashlight. Now, instead of unlocking the phone, pulling the notification bar down, tapping the torch icon, you could simply press the home button on the lock screen and turn the flashlight on. It does the exact same thing. The next one deals with privacy. Yeah, you got a fingerprint scanner at the back. But what if you want to give your phone to someone unlocked? What if mom needs to make a call? Does that mean she gets to read your WhatsApp messages too? Well, not quite. Because MIUI 8 comes with a feature wherein you can lock your individual applications, which means your privacy is now safe from all. Oh, and that reminds me. What about that time when you want to run two different WhatsApp accounts on the same phone? You got a dual SIM slot, right? So why not avail them? Why buy a separate phone to run a different account on WhatsApp? Well, you shouldn't because the dual app feature in the settings menu can clone any application and allow you to run two different instances and two different accounts on it. Next up is a feature that Samsung made a lot of noise about when it launched the Samsung Galaxy Note 5. Instead of just taking one screenshot of one screen, then going down, taking another screenshot and saving it as a separate screenshot, you can take a whole list of screenshots, multiple of them and stitch them together as one. Now, this is a very cool feature. When you want to take screenshots of long lists, web pages, or even map directions, it comes in very handy. I'll now talk a little more on privacy. If you want to hide some messages or some particular files in your phone, instead of downloading a third party application that locks the whole application, locks the whole folder, and creates more suspicion, what you can do instead is head to your explorer or head to your uh, messaging app and swipe down. When you do that, you'll get access to your very own hidden folder that can be password protected too. Which means all your sensitive data, information and messages are now safe from everyone else's eyes. Additionally, I also admire the convenience of scheduling messages in advance by tapping the plus icon in the messaging app. Now, you don't have to wake up to wish someone happy birthday. You can just schedule a message in the morning. It'll reach them by 12. And at last, I'll talk about some features here and there. For Wi-Fi sharing, you can connect using QR codes instead of manually adding username and password for every other friend that connects to your phone. You would also get a two-finger swipe down gesture that enables you to see more in a notification without the need to open an app to see that. Also, if you are a bit like me, if you are if you have to make a mess of your home screen by installing and uninstalling applications very quickly, then you'd appreciate this shake gesture that is there in the home screen options that auto aligns applications back to their original places. Lastly, I like the feature of call recorder which is present on all Xiaomi phones inbuilt. You don't have to download a separate call recorder for it. But instead of, automat instead of manually enabling it every time you make a call, you can set the call recorder to automatically record all calls that you make from your phone. And those are some tips and tricks that will help you get the most out of your Xiaomi Redmi Note 4. If you knew them already, well, you got a revision. And if not, congratulations, you got to learn something new today. Meanwhile, tell me in the comment box below which is your favorite feature out of these or out of MIUI 8 itself. But do not forget to hit that like button, do not forget to subscribe to our channel, do not forget to share this video and do not forget to come back and see more of me. My name is Sid.